You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. Here with Dr. Jimmy Ashcroft, and uh, we're talking about your books today. You have uh, quite a few of them. Maybe you could, uh, I think we were featuring this one today, right? Yes, that's the first book. Okay. Reflections of a Country Doctor? Yes. What can you tell me about that book? What's it about? I was a doctor in the boondocks in Sydney, Montana. I was sort of last of Mohicans, but I got to do lots of things. Okay. Um, and so when I stopped seeing patients, my wife said, get out of the house, basically, or find something to do. And all these stories of all the years, uh, I wanted my kids to know what I'd been doing all the time. So uh, I started putting the stories down. On paper, they're really not my stories. I'm not really the author. The patients were the were the authors. Oh, they were giving. I was just I was just described for the things I encountered. Um, So the stories are just snippets of uh, real events, real people uh, over the years. I think the first book has over a hundred little snippets. Um, Most of the stories are two, three pages long. one story has no relationship to the next story, so you can uh, read a short bit and, and finish one story and you're not lost the next time you come back with a totally different story. Okay. Um, so these are just basically uh, reflections of what happened uh, in your practice. And then you have uh, three other books. They're all similar in terms of short stories, a little bit different theme in each. A little bit different thing. The the, uh, the first book is a, a collection of stories, and after the the first book was written, I had only hoped that I would have uh, five books, well, three for my kids and one for my wife and one for me. Just five copies. Five copies. That's all I ever wanted. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I sent them to uh, uh, my children, and that's when I learned about YouTube and Twitter and those things. Uh, before I knew it, I was getting requests uh, by phone calls and whatever uh, when they would be available. Uh, then uh, the folks up in Sydney, where I came from, uh, asked if I would do a book signing. Okay, I'd never done a book signing. So the museum there, uh, the Mondak Heritage Center, said, well, they would like to have a couple books uh, before before." Me. So they, they asked if they could have 10 books. Well, I didn't have any books. I hadn't ordered any. Now I got my five free ones. So I said, okay, we'll get you some. And then I thought, if I'm going to go to a book signing, maybe I should have a few more. So I ordered 50 books. I think I'm going to have some left. Well, uh, it wasn't very long. And uh, before those books got to me, the Mondak Center asked if they could have 50 more. Okay, well, then I have to order 50 more. Uh, well, this kept going on. Then we went to the, the Sunrise Festival, and, and I think we sold about 350 books that weekend. That's a lot of books. Is it? Yeah, yeah. That, that's very know. good sales. Very I, good I've sales. Never, uh, never had a book sale. And, and some of the people had already had the, uh, the books outlined and marked, and they want to know if I would validate who the people were in the books. No, no one has their real names in there, and I obviously didn't do that. And some of the folks who had read it wanted to know when the next book was coming out. And I think, in retrospect, they wanted the second book because they weren't in the first book. They also wanted to know about my wife. And she was an integral part of things we did. Um, so they want uh, a book with uh, a chapter about her. And they knew I had a difficult uh, childhood, so they want to know a little bit about that. I said, okay, we'll go for it. And I still had lots and lots of stories. So we wrote another book, and and um, I tried to to get my wife to write a story, and that didn't happen. After many months of trying, 
my part was done and she finally wrote a few um, words down and one of my daughters says, Mom, it's a good start. Ask these a few words for like two sentences. Um, so she, we put it into a foreword. So she got about two pages of foreword. She got through that. And so that was the, the people who wanted uh, what my wife got to do. Uh, she put it in the foreword and in, in, in the stat book. And that was going to be the last book. Uh, well, and as life would happen, uh, my nurse of some years uh, died unexpectedly from an adverse medical event, and I I absolutely felt compelled at her uh, at her funeral to write a book in her memory about things that you don't expect. Some are good, some are bad. All the things, many of the things that we saw together uh, that happened in medicine and life, um, things about unexpected things. And the little goofy thing on the front, that's me. It's, that that's yeah, that's me. That was my thirtieth birthday present from my, my nurse who died. The four rocks from the Yellowstone River that she painted. And that was gonna be the last one. And then I got frustrated with with the misinformation uh, on the television about drugs and appliances and things, so I was going to write an expose about uh, communicating and how things are not exactly as they seem and well it didn't turn out exactly that way but anyhow another book came about about how different people uh, uh, talk to doctors how doctors communicate so it has stories about uh, uh, body language what patients tell you but it's not what they're saying uh, what you hear on the television may or may not be true. Uh, troubles with telephones, trouble with pages, uh, the kind of difficulties we ran into in, out in the country. So that's it. And as you would have it, uh, when the last one was, was presented at the last Art in the Park, people want to know when the next one was. So, <laughs> so, so I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> Let me just ask, who... Who do you think these books would appeal to? Uh, anyone who likes... Well, they're all true stories. So, uh, anything about happens in real life. Uh, these None of these stories are made up. They all happen to me and the people who are in them. They're all short. So, uh, uh, I've told people many times that they're made for people with attention deficit disorder uh, or time constraints. Because uh, most of the stories uh, are are short between the, well in the first book they're about one to three pages in the latter books it might be four or five pages it's easily handled in a short time and if you're limited on, on the amount of time you can uh, you can read them uh, they're historical in that uh, they talk about the kind of things that I got to see in a different era of medicine uh, I got to make uh, House calls in the winter, 80 miles out of town. Uh, got these little babies uh, uh, that were very sick when the air ambulance had been run. Uh, and I got to do a lot of things out there in the middle of nowhere because I was my own backup for many years. Well, thank you very much. Oh, well, thank you for having me come by. Yes. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.